Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, Unreal Engine. So uh, importing your Rhino model into Unreal Engine so you can do animations. Um, I think this is a really cool way of doing animations or renderings or anything like that. I think it's a good also design tool to know how big your space is and how it actually feels like to be kind of encompassed within it, which I think is a very interesting aspect. So I'm actually going to go over Unreal Engine real quick before I go into the Rhino model. So the one thing you want to do, I'm also downloading the new 4.24, but besides that, um, what you need is you'll need data, Unreal Datasmith. Datasmith is actually a plugin for Unreal Engine that they added, I think, probably in 4.20 that can uh, import CAD models into Unreal Engine so you can actually bring those in and start to modify. As you can see in the bottom ones I have here, uh, those are here to, or those these were tests actually, so um, yeah. so. Anyways, if you go to Marketplace, before I go into the Rhino model, if you go to Marketplace, you can see there is some stuff you can buy, but since I'm poor, um, there's a lot of these stuff, things that are free that you can buy, which is super cool. And they actually just got, I think Quixel just got bought out by uh, Epic Games. So that's actually a really, really awesome thing because you can go to their mega scans and actually just grab them all. They're all free. So these are free mega scans. I may actually just, I don't even know if I'll ever need these, but it never hurts to have them because it doesn't take up space on your hard drive. It just takes up space on the, I think the drive it's on the, on their kind of like uh, server. So I may just, I might as well take these. So <clears throat> in general, you get assortment of free, high quality um, textures. Like why not? They're all free. I mean, I think they just added, I think they added some of these because I didn't see these before or else I would add them. These are actually really nice. Um, I'll just add these. Oh, textiles. I could have used this for my project. This would have been nice. Yeah, this definitely aren't new because I've not seen these. Okay. And then what you would do, just go to cart. Then you would check out. And yeah, they're all yours. Should be. Should be how it works. Yep. And you can also go for like free for the month. All this stuff. And permanent collections that are free. It's really cool, actually. Really cool stuff. So yeah, some of them I didn't download, like in the permanent free collection, but especially the textures one, definitely download it. That is definitely amazing. RPG template may get that one. I would probably get this one. Good sky. Probably get that one too. Probably get this one as well. <clears throat> okay, anyways, I don't want this video just me buying stuff. So what you want to do is get your Rhino model. So this is just a quick model I whipped up. And you're going to have it saved. Just save it. You don't need to actually do anything to the Rhino model. But the only thing you really would want to do is layer everything that you want. So I know that these are going to be glass. I know that these are going to be wood panels. I have a steel bottoms or tops or just steel kind of linings. And then you have your walls. I call those the frame. And then the floor as well. Very basic model. So what you're going to do is just minimize that. You don't need that anymore. Just make sure you save it. And then go to Epic Games. Go to your library. And if you want to get Epic Games, all you have to do is, if you want to get Unreal Engine, just go, go to Epic Games. If I can spell. Go to Epic Games. Go to their official site. <coughs> and you should be able to download Unreal somewhere here unreal engine what is unreal engine 4 yada 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 actually the newest uh fallen order jedi fallen order was made in unreal engine and you can kind of tell just based off graphics oh i didn't even know this game was made in that oh that's amazing that's sick yeah you can just download um you can download it through here any you, you can also just google unreal engine download as well but anywho Let's get on to it. So I'm going to launch it. I'm going to launch 4.23. doesn't really matter. 4.24. It really doesn't matter, honestly. Um, but use 4.24 if you have it. It doesn't make much of a difference. So I'm going to do this window pops up. I'm going to go to a new project. Click third person. And I'm going to rename this project. Uh, probably test underscore magic art. I spelled kinetic wrong again. Of course I did. 
but <clears throat> and now it's on full display that I spelled it wrong, of course. Okay. <coughs> okay. So this this program is honestly better if you have two monitors, but it's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna put it right here. So you have your kind of window. I'm gonna go over the UI just a tiny bit. So if you want to move within the kind of environment, right click is kind of like orbit. And just like a video game, you would move throughout using WASD. So W S A D. And if you want to kind of go different directions, I usually just hit W and this kind of lets you orbit around within the kind of landscape. It's kind of trippy at first, but it's kind of cool as well. And if your scene goes too fast or too slow, you can always just bump down the camera speed, which is up here. And you can see it goes a lot slower. And you just bump it up. If you want to go like super fast, you're going to fly. So uh, let's go back to four, which was that. <coughs> so, so I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is actually delete these kind of test models. They're kind of useless. So I'm just going to click on everything. Left click, delete, left click, delete, left click, delete. So we don't need all that geometry. It's kind of a waste. Arena geometry. Uh, we just delete the folder. Delete the arena. And everything else is pretty good. Render F FX and the third person walkthrough. I don't know what this other like cubic weird stuff is. Light mass importance volume. Oh yeah, yeah. this is actually really cool, but I'm not going to go over that right now. Um, yeah. This is this light mass importance is really cool. Um, I think it's under here, right? Or in geometry? Oh man, I don't remember anymore. Volumes. Yeah, it's under here. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, sorry about that. So what you're gonna do is take your model, and you have it here. You actually go to Data Smith, and if you don't have Data Smith on here, go back to Epic Games, and you should be able to get it within the library. So you go to Install Plugins. And then you would go to Unreal uh, Install Plugins, and you should be able to add it. If not, you can look it up as well. I honestly can't remember exactly how I added it. But anyways, <coughs> oh, why is this paused? Um, anyways, so what you're going to do now is go to Data Smith. Just click it, and you're going to go to where your model is saved. So mine is saved somewhere in here, Side Projects. And it's going to be facade Sophia. So we're going to open that. We're going to save it in our contents folder. And then this is a little important. Just make sure you have all these options like this. It should be default. Um, if these are checked, just uncheck them by clicking them and hit import. Now it depends how big your model is, but if it's really big, it won't actually import all of it. So <coughs> that's one thing that's really important to know. If you have a gigantic model, which this semester I had a gigantic model, um, it will not upload. So if you want to get around that, there is a way around that, and I'll show you guys that in a second as well. <coughs> so anyways, we got our model. Nice, we actually have the geometry within here, so that's good. So we have our little kind of area, we have our wood panels, everything looks pretty good. Okay, so now that that's settled, we don't have to worry too much about um, other stuff. So so we basically have our model loaded, which is really, really nice. Um, and as you can see within the world outlier tab, um, there's a lot of, um, a lot of a, what's it called? A lot of stuff. So these are all your layers. So wood panels, it's right here. I don't know why it's renaming it. Stop renaming. Stop renaming. I don't know what it's doing. Okay. Um, you can see each B rep is right here. Okay, so we have our geometry here. I don't know what that is. But, um, I don't know what I just did. I'm just going to undo. Okay, it attached it for some reason. So, <coughs> we have that. Now we have all of our layers, which is good. So now, what we want to do, since we're, this video portion is just about the importing settings, there's some things that we want to do. Actually, the video may be four parts when I think about it, but... What we want to do is take this model and figure out what we need to do. So we have them in layers for a reason. So we can, you know, 
easily put them in different textures and things like that. So I think for this section of the video, it's pretty good, but I want to go over what happens if your model's too big. <clears throat> so this is going to be super useful. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this. Can I take over geometry or something? It should be under contents, facade, geometry. Yeah, I could technically delete all these. Can I do that? So let's just do that real quick. I'm going to delete everything just to re-show you guys what I would do if my model's too big. any references so maybe what I will do if I want I'll, I'll show you guys real quick so I'll save this real quick save all <clears throat> so I'll open up a new Unreal Engine file I have the room for it so I'll just do it um so take this you now launch it again what well, not you but I will um, so I'll, I'll launch it I'll just start a new project blueprint third person. I'll just name it Project 6. It'll load the model or it'll load Unreal Engine. And now we have this, which is cool. So anyways, let's get on to how we would do this if our model's too big. So the way to do it is you're going to take each part of your model and actually export it. So you're going to select all the glass and type export and just do it as a Rhino model. So what you're gonna do is go to your, I'm gonna go here all the way down to my side projects and I'll name it glass. Or actually maybe I will start a folder real quick name. So here, facade. Maybe I will go to this and then I'll do glass, export that. And basically just export everything one by one. And then wood panels. And I'll just only do two just to show you. And I'll do glass. Or no, no, glass. Wood. Actually, I'll do the whole thing. There's only that. There's only five layers. So that. Select objects. Export. To uh, steel bottom. Select objects again. Export to frame. And then finally, export objects to this uh, floor. So once you have that, you export all of them. You're going to go to Unreal Engine. And now you're going to basically do the same thing. Import. Go back to wherever you saved those side projects so mine is called Sophia facade and you basically just import them one by one so you can see the largest ones the wood panels so we'll import that first so you see you only get the wood panels now you're like okay I have the wood panels but I want the rest of the model so you're like okay so what you're gonna do is take D data smith again and let's do the steel bottoms I'll import those and you see they actually import right on top because it uses because it uses the data from Rhino to know where to put them. So it uses the world XY coordinate. So you can see this is a zero point, I think, within Rhino, technically, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure, actually. I think this is Y. Yeah, yeah. And then it will basically it will base it off the exact same thing. Uh, give me one second. There's something going on. Be right back. Okay. I'm back now, guys. Sorry about that. I, um, I wanted to... Someone was downstairs and was knocking. So I opened the door and it was one of my friends. So I talked to him for a while and now I'm back. So anyways, as I was at, so you see it imports exactly where it was at, this model and this model. So what you want to do now, now that you have that, I can you know get rid of this project. I don't need it anymore. So don't save this one. I'll open up my other Epic Games. Oh, more interesting. Okay, I'll do that. I will this one. I'll launch this project. 
yeah, all these were free, so I have now a bunch of free kind of textures, which is really nice. So we go back into here, and we just do import. It actually shouldn't be right here. Oh, I think I deleted the temp folder. Yep, okay, no big deal. We'll just delete this, and then we'll re-import it from my drive. We will go to side projects. It will be named this import. Okay, import. <laughs> yep, and now we will file save all. And yeah, we should be good once this loads. <laughs> so yeah, now that we have our model. No, so now we have our model in. So that's one way of doing it, and then another way of doing it if it's too close, if it's too, if it's not too close, if it's too, uh, if it's too big. So yeah, that's the first part of the tutorial, and yeah, so that will be pretty much it for this part. The next part will be on materials, and then after that will be after eh, after that will be um, collisions, and then after that will be showing how to do the walkthrough if you want to do a third person. Collisions are only important if you want to have a person in there. If you don't want a person there, you can literally completely skip the collision section. But I will add people in mine, so yeah. Um, I'll add or like a person walking through it. So yeah guys, um, that's pretty much it for this part. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.